Hello, good evening. Hello, Miss. Good, good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you, Miss. How are you guys? It's good to see you one more time, one more nine, one more session. How is everything? Everything good during the day? You had a good day? A lot of funny. Yeah, really? You had a lot of fun today? Good. That's nice because that gives energy, right? <laughs> Welcome, Maria, Wendy Beatriz. We have David Moises, Diana Jamilet, Sulma. Who else we have? Margarita. Welcome. Fatima Larissa. Hello. Welcome. Good to Hi. see you. Let's begin, guys. And I have here to begin one exercise, one short exercise here that I took from the videos that I sent you. Last night I sent you some more videos in the one you had this exercise. Do you remember about it? Did you see this exercise? In one of the videos it appeared. So it's about the present perfect. And it says in the direction that we have to complete the sentences correctly with since or for. Let's begin it. Number one. Welcome, Wilfredo. Hello, Miss. Hey, how are you? Uh, very good. Very good. Nice. Roberto Carlos, welcome to. He's connected to. Good to see you guys. Now, let's see the exercise. So, we need to complete. Fatima Larissa, welcome, girl. Let's complete mm -hmm. it. We have number one. Mm -hmm. What do we need? Six or four? David, are you here with us, David? Better. Hello, David. Can you give us the number one, please? What will be correct, six or four? <laughs> or four. Four, right? Yes. Can you read it yes. complete, please? How My parents. Uh -huh. My, My parents, parents have lived in the same house. For 25 house? years. For 25 years. That is correct. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. We have quantity of time or amount of time. Really good. Nice one. Great. Okay. What about number two? Fatima, continue, please. The company has made the same products since 19... Uh, yeah. Yes. 1925. That's all right. Thank you, Fatima. That's very nice. Things. So now we have beginning of time or starting of time. That's great. Let's see. Let's continue. Margarita, number three, please. The U.S. has been a country since uh, 1726. 1776. 76, sorry. Okay. That's all right. Thank you. That's good. 1776. So we have the beginning of the time, beginning of the activity. That's great. Thank you. But Saida, welcome. Let's I'm, continue, please. Hello, girl. I studied for. I've, I've studied. Contraction. Uh -huh. For a test. For seven hours. For seven hours. That's correct. Yes, you have a quantity of time. Excellent. That's all right. Thank you. That will be four. Really good job. Nice. Questions with this exercise? No, no questions? Okay. Yes. Let's see who wrote in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Andrea, for informing. Thank you get better let's move then to the next parts we got here more examples here about four and six it says how long did you live in thailand 
I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. Now, can you tell me what is the tense of this one? What is the time? Is it present perfect or simple past? It's simple past, right? That is correct. How do you know? Okay, we have the auxiliary did. So this form of time words is not only exclusive for present perfect, you can use with different times, with different tenses. In this case, we're using the simple past. That's why in the answer you use simple past. Right? Now let's see the next one. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Now, what is the tense here? Simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. Exactly, that is correct. So now what is the difference between the simple past and the present perfect? That in the simple past, you know that the activity already finished. This action occurred, is past. We cannot go back and repeat that action in that a specific time. We cannot go back to the past, right? And change the things that occurred. But in the present perfect, it's an open period of time in the one is possible that you can change the thing. For example, if it is like a, a this week, in this week, you have done different activities. It's possible that you can repeat that activity. How other examples here with the simple past? How long did you work for that company? If you're saying, how long did you work? It's because you don't work there anymore. You finished your activities in that company. I worked there for 10 years. Now, you cannot go back there unless that you are tired again, right? And you repeat the action. But in that specific time, you finished the activities. Let's go ahead on the next case, the next example. How long did Peter's pets live with him? He lived with him for five years. The quantity of time, it was five years. That was the time that the pet lived with Peter. He misses that cat. So that means the cat does not live with Peter anymore. Now in the present perfect. How long have your neighbors traveled to Honduras? They have traveled there for many years. It's possible that they can continue traveling. So this quantity is going to increase the number. Two. How long has the doctor assisted his patients in her community? Since August. Look at that here. The answer is very simple. You go straight to the point. You go and answer with what is important, the specific information that someone is investigating. And that is correct. Questions so far? ¿Podría repetir la parte en que son diferentes entre el simple past y present perfect? Que no sure. Entiendo. Of course. When you refer to the simple past, it's because this activity finished already. You cannot go back to, for example, to the last year. You cannot change the things in that year. That's why it said here, how long did you work for that company? That means you don't work in that company anymore. And it says, I worked there for 10 years. That was the quantity that the person did that activity. So simple pass is finished. It's closed. Closed time already. You cannot repeat that time. Especially if there is, for example, with the person who died. In the case of mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, for example. In the case of Michael Jackson, you need to refer to him with the simple past because he cannot do more actions anymore. He died, he passed away. But with people who are still alive, you need to refer to them with the present perfect because it's possible that they continue doing more activities. 
So the present perfect is open period of time. Is it clear, Fatima? Yes. What is the difference? Tell me what is the difference. Se refería a que la de físicas es una actividad final. Exactly. You finish uh -huh. the action. You cannot uh -huh. repeat the action. You no cannot go back, for example, to yesterday. Ya no podemos regresar al ayer y cambiar algo a ese tiempo. But for example, this week, esta semana, sí, porque la semana aún no ha terminado. Incluso este día es un periodo de tiempo que aún no ha finalizado. Y es posible que uno siga repitiendo más actividades. Esta noche aún no ha finalizado. Uno puede realizar más actividades. But yesterday, no. This morning, esta mañana, no, ya no es posible realizar más actividades. So that is simple past. It's closed. But present perfect, yes. It's possible that you repeat actions. Yes? Yes. Any other question? Let's go ahead on the next example. We have, who's that girl standing on the seashore? The seashore is this part, right? This part of the beach. Not yet the water, but just this part where you can find a lot of sand. She's Martha. How long has she been there? I think since 5 p.m. She likes to see the sunset. Now, in the answer here, which is in red, what is the beginning of the time? Is that a quantity or a beginning of the time? Quantity? Beginning. Beginning. Beginning, beginning. Uh -huh. beginning right? Because you're mentioning like, the hour. Suppose that is like a 5.30 or, or 6 p.m. And Martha is still standing on the seashore. So has not finished to be there. She continues standing there. Ha estado para, parada desde esa hora. So she continues with that action. Let's go ahead on this one. You had this exercise on the platform. How did you answer it? You need to use for or since. Daisy, can you complete it, please? Maybe... Um, one second. <laughs> All right. Uh, is a um, specific Ready. time. Is a specific time. Last year is a specific. Uh -huh. That is referring to quantity or beginning. You need to analyze that. If you want, read it. Read it mm -hmm. so that you can remember. Pan, Pan was in Central America since a month last year. Maybe. No, cannot be since a month. Maybe since last month, but here is saying a month. A uh, month. Uh -huh. Yeah, for uh -huh. a month. That is correct. So a month is a quantity or beginning of the activity? Mm. Quantity. It's quantity, right? What quantity is this? It's two, three, one, uh -huh. five, one. a lot of, many. One. Is one. one, exactly. Here, don't get confused with this article because remember, a or an is referring to one. It's just substitute. So if you're saying a month is one month, it's quantity. Unless that you say last month, two months ago, five months ago. But that will be representing the past here. Quantity for a month. So that will be the difference here. Now, we got another exercise here that is an email, an email to an old friend. It says, write an email to someone you haven't seen for a long time. Include three things you've done since, uh, since you last saw that person. We're going to read it. Can you begin reading it, please, Wilfredo? It says, hi, Eva. Hi, Eva. How how have you been? How have you been? 
How have you been? We haven't seen each other since our vacation two years ago. We had so much fun. What have you done since then? I finished high school last year, but I haven't started college yet. I have been in the U.S. for three months. I am studying English. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Notice here that it says like ellipsis, like continuation, right? Thank you so much. Now, let's verify here. What are the phrases that contains present perfect? What are the other ones that contain the simple past? For example, the first one, the first question, it begins with the question, right? It says, how have you been? What tense is this? The tense is the time, right? Is it simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect, exactly. If you transform to simple present, it will be, how are you? So that is the popular, how are you? But in the present perfect form. Then it says, we haven't seen each other since our vacations two years ago. Let's see about this. We haven't seen each other. <clears throat> What tense is this? Present perfect. Exactly. We have a negative manner. That's good. What is the verb? Have. Seen. Seen. Haven't is the auxiliary. Seen. Oh, yes. Seen. Uh -huh. Seen. That's correct. This verb is regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 Perfect. So it says, we haven't seen each other since our vacation two years ago. Now, what is the word that is marking the beginning? Things. Things. Things, perfect. That is my time word, exactly. Now, this phrase, two years ago, what expression is it? Of present perfect or simple past? Simple past. Simple, simple past. Simple past, exactly. Two years ago, that means from the present or from now, it has passed two years. The next one is, we had so much fun. Simple past? Simple past. Simple, Simple past. past, exactly. The verb had, this one is regular or irregular? Irregular. Irregular, perfect. The next one, then we have a question. What have you done since then? Simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. That's good. What is the time word that is referring to the beginning? Since. Since. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's good. I finished high school last year. What is the tense? Simple past. Simple, past. Yes. Simple past. Perfect. Yes. Then we have a contrast here, right? Something mm -hmm. contrary. But I haven't started college yet. Present perfect. Present perfect. That is correct. I have been in the U.S. for three months. Present perfect. Present, Present, perfect. Perfect. Present perfect. That's good. What is referring to quantity? Four, three months. Four, exactly. Four, and my quantity is three months. Three, three months. months. Excellent. Three. What is the last part? I'm studying English. What is the tense? Present. Present. I study English. If it's simple present, then I study. But it says I'm Continue. studying. Present continues. Continue. That is correct. Continue. So the action is occurring. It's happening. The person is studying at the moment. All right, that's good to, to identify the different tenses, right? Now, let's go on the next part. It says, in this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final T and these sounds in verse with the vowels that follow. For this, we are going to watch a video. Hi, in this lesson, we will work on pronunciation. Everything okay? Yeah, Miss. Yes, perfect, yes. thank you. Yes. In order to sound natural, by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t 
and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. All right. About the video, you got here some examples. Well, with some reference here about some of the sounds in the ones that sound depending if the sound is voiceless or is voiced. So let's say here, if they sound like with letter T are this, for example, cooked. When you pronounce or you transform into the past these verbs, then they sound like a T at the end. Cooked, tucked, walked, liked, watched. This one, this list, they sound like a D at the end. So cried. So you say it doesn't sound like cried, no? It's like D. Cried, spied, lived, told. Oh, Carrot. Mm -hmm. That's why we have some of the examples here. So it says, have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. So you need to mark the letter T, right? Very well. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. These are some of the verbs, but we also have others. Others from here. We also have other sounds of pronunciation, like the one that sound like eat, like when you say it with the letter T, wanted. So we don't say like wanted, right? Or wanted, wanted. That's why it sounds like with eat at the end. With the letter D, it says needed. With the letter T, we have other examples. They finish with the letter P. All these letters that you can observe here, they are called voiceless. What are voiceless sounds? It means that they don't produce any vibration when you pronounce them, like the last letter. You can touch your throat here when you pronounce it. So if you say, for example, letter P is voiceless, no vibration on your throat. You pronounce it then with the verb in the base form, it says help, no vibration. With the letter K, look, in the base form, right? Because with the simple past pronunciation, it sounds different. SH, the base form of the verb, no vibration in your throat. That's why it's voiceless, no sound when you pronounce this final letter. CH, watch, letter H, no vibration, no sound. Same here with GH. GH, you see here, together, it sounds like a letter F. And the letter F, it doesn't produce any sound. So, laugh. No vibration in your throat, no sound. TH, breathe. TH sounds like a Z, right? Suena como una Z al final. TH together, breathe. Double S, kiss, just the letter, right? No sound there. Letter C, dance. No sound, no vibration on your throat. Letter X, fix. Letter X, then, does not produce any vibration on your throat. So, if you pronounce it in the simple past of these voiceless sounds, it sounds like a tick. Now let's see what happens when you pronounce in simple past. We say helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Now these ones, they are voiced. Why? They produce a sound. That means with the letters, if they are 
final letters in a word, they have a vibration. There is a sound. When you touch your trap, when you pronounce it, like the base form of the verb is like, oh, there is vibration. Now, it vibrates the trap. Also, the letter N, vibration, sound. Letter R, R, vibration. You can feel here. <clears throat> also, when you say the letter G, it vibrates. V, V. This one is not plosive, no es explosiva. The other one is plosive. The other B is plosive, right? But this one is like soft sound. Mm, pronouncing, there is vibration. Letter S, but just singular. When it's only one S, there is no, right? Different than this one, right? W, follow. It sounds like the letter U. It's very similar. Letter Y, enjoy. It vibrates. E. Letter Z, Z, like the B. So there is vibration. Now, when you pronounced the simple past, it sounds like a letter D at the end. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Do you have question with this? A new verb? <clears throat> Damage. Damage. Damage, it means dañar. Damage. Just that they are in simple past, right? All of them are in simple past. Amazed. Amazed. Yes, amazed. 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 The base form of the verb. Sure, excuse amazed. me. Sorry? Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. thank you so much. Ah, oh, yes. I'm really yes. sorry. And, and Wendy has problems with connection and Jamie, she's listening. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, William. You're very kind. Thank you. So, amazed. This one, it comes from a, from a verb. It comes from the verb amaze. Remember, this one are verbs. So that means asombrar. Asombrar. For example, you can say the magician, magician amazed the public. El mago asombró al public. Amazed. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Maria. Amazed. 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 Mm -hmm. Any other question? Bread. Bread. What we need to do every moment. You have your nose, but you need to breathe. It's necessary to live. Yes? Okay, I got it. When we have the flu, it's very difficult for us to breathe. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. Oxygen. We need oxygen. oxygen. All right. Let's move to the other one. All right. We got some questions here. And it says, have you ever, have you ever cut your own hair? Maria, have you ever cut your own hair? Have you ever cut your own hair? Your, your own hair? Own hair? Propio, propio cabello. Have you ever cut your own hair? No, I don't miss. No, no. I haven't. No, no, no I, I haven't. haven't. Uh -huh. no. I haven't. Or no, no, I never I have, right? No, I never have. That's also another possibility. Okay. That's right. Thank you. Very good. Nice. William. Yes, hello. Hello, William. 
Hey, the next question oh. is that have you ever tasted blue cheese? Oh. Have you ever tasted blue cheese? No, I never tasted no? blue cheese. Never? Maybe it has a different ingredient, right? <laughs> Thank you. But, but it's the same flavor. Uh, it must be the same flavor. It depends on the ingredients that this one has. Because also some countries, they add other, right? Other ingredients. Okay. Depends on it. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue. Pablo. Hey, hey, Pablo. How are you, boy? Hello. Hello. I'm fine. Very good. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Have you ever tried Vietnamese food? No, I haven't. All right. Very good. Thank you. Wendy Beatriz, are you here, girl? Yes, teacher. Yes. Hello, girl. The next question. Have you ever lost your ID? I ID is como identification, teacher. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's an identification yeah. document. In our case, uh, the DUI, right? Okay, yes, I have, teacher. Yes, okay. When when was that? Do you remember when you lost it? When did you lose your ID? <laughs> no, teacher, I don't remember. You don't remember? Was it a long time ago? Um, for two years. Um, uh, 11 years ago. Oh, my goodness, that was a long time. <laughs> a long time ago. Okay, good. And do you remember when you lost it? When? Sorry, where? Where did you lose it? Mm, not teacher, no remember. Don't remember? Was it on the street? Was it maybe on the bus? On a, a, in a taxi? Mm. At the airport? Uh, yes, in the, in the airport, yes. At the airport it was. Okay, yes. imagine with so many people, there is so difficult mm -hmm. to find it, right? Great. Okay. Thank you. Let's okay. move that to another one. Thank you. Let's move here to another exercise that we have more about four and six. Let's see with part C. Complete these sentences with four or six. Then compare with the partner. Betsaida, can you begin? Number one. So here you have some expressions with four expressions with since but of course you can include more you can give more ideas too the first one maura was in central america mm -hmm. is for a month last year very good that's nice we have quantity a month one month that is correct four great job nice now let's see the number two let's continue please marvin um hello marvin I've, hello uh -huh. hello boy um, I've, i've been, been a college student uh, for, um, for almost four years. Excellent. That is correct. What is the quantity? Um, four years. Four years, exactly. Look at that here is saying this word that it means approximately. Even uh, though we yeah. have, we Has don't have it. like, uh -huh, correct. Mm -hmm. Even though we don't have a specific time, because mm -hmm. if you say an almost, that means approximately, but we have a quantity. That is yeah. correct. Four, excellent. Thank you so much. Daniela Beatriz. Yeah. And number three. Hiroshi. Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Excellent. Since 6 a.m. It's beginning of time. That is all right. Sings. Excellent. That's good, Daniela. Thank you so much. Freddy, can you continue, please? Okay. I haven't gone to Paris for a long time. For a long time. Yeah, that is correct. We are not given a specific time, but this one is determining that is a quantity of time. That's right. Thank you. Solva. 
Hello. Hello, girl. Okay. Uh, she lived in Bolivia since two years as a kid. Since two years? No, because we don't have a beginning. We don't have a specific uh, time. Okay, four. Four, correct. Why? Because we have quantity. What is the quantity of time? Two years Perfect. as a kid. Excellent. That is correct. For two years. Number six, Margarita, help us, please. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. That is great. Thank you. Since. Thank you so much. Roberto Carlos. Roberto, are you present? Andrea de Los Angeles. Andrea. Germán. Yes. Yes. Okay. Help us, Andrea, please. Number seven. Um, Jennifer was engaged to Theo. Theo. Uh, Theo. Theo for six months. Excellent. We have quantity. That is correct. For six months. Really good. Thank you. Sandy. Sandy Roxana. Yes. Yes. Number eight. Alex and Brianna have been best best friends um, since since high school, school. High school. Very good job. Nice. Great job. That's nice. Thank you so much. Really good job, guys. Congratulations. So basically here, four is introducing a quantity of time. Exact or inexact. But when you're referring to things, then this one is taking you to the past. So when is that you began with that activity? This can be referring to an hour, can be referring to a lapse of time, like the morning, can be afternoon, can be noon, can be at night. Uh, last year, last Christmas can also be an, an occasion, right? Let's see the next part. How long have you had your own current hairstyle, your actual current style, right? So that's your currently. Stella, are you Stella? Are you there? Yes. Yes, girl. Okay. Tell us, please. How long have you had your current oh. hairstyle, oh. your actual hairstyle? Okay. Oh. All day. Oh. Oh. All day, but how long? Uh -huh. Or you cut it today? How long have you had? Uh, ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido su actual eh, estilo de cabello? How all long? day? No sé, sí, sí. Only, only today? Eso significa yes. que se lo cortó ahora. Yes. O, o se cambió el estilo este día. Yes? Yes. Okay, that's good. Sí, sí. Can you please repeat it? I have had. I have had. Uh -huh. My current. My current. current uh -huh, hairstyle. Hairstyle. Uh -huh, the whole day. Ah, uh, the whole day. Uh -huh, that's very good. Thank yeah. you. That's correct. Okay, Estela, now you're going to ask a question to Selena. Ask the next question, please. Selena, are you okay. here? Selena Jamilet? Selena? No. Claudia Carolina? Either Roberto Carlos? Claudia, can you listen to us? No. Diana? Marvin? Hi. Yes. Okay, Marvin. Listen to the question, please, from Estela. Um, How long have you studied at this school? That's good. Okay. <laughs> How long have you studied at this school? <laughs> Let's say that this is not a school, right? But it's an academy. <laughs> okay. I have. I have studied for three weeks uh -huh. at this school 
a disco. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Okay, Margarita, now you're going to ask the questions to Daisy. Daisy, are you here? Yes, me. Yes, thank you. All right. Margarita. Which one is? Ah, this one. How long have you known? How long, Maya. How long have you known? Your best friend. That's right. Thank you. Since. Uh, Try to give it complete, please. Like uh, to practice, to practice that. I I have no. No, I have known, none. I have no my best friend since mm -hmm. primary. No sé cómo sería. Friend since primary school. Primary school. Very good job. That's great. Thank you. Nice. Daniela, are you here, Daniela Beatriz? Yes. Yes. Okay, Freddy? Freddy, are you yes. here with us? Yes. Okay. Yes. Daniela, you ask Freddy, please. How long have you been awake today? Ah, okay. Nice. That means you have not slept today. Not yet. Oh. I have awake. I have been. I have been awake for twelve hours. For twelve hours! Wow, with no rest, that is exhausting, right? You must be exhausted. Yes. The whole day. Yes, I know. Okay, very good, guys. Thanks. Do you have questions with this exercise? No, miss. No questions? Okay. We're going to pass the list. Let me note that you are present, please. Let's see Andrea de Los Angeles. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Betsaida Jasmine. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thanks a lot. David Moises. David Moises. Daisy Estefania. Present me. Thanks a lot. Diana Jamilet. Diana Jean Millet, Evet Jaciel, Evet Jaciel, Diana, right? Yes, yes, thank you so much. Evet Jaciel, Eric Ronaldo, Eric Ronaldo, Estela Guadalupe, present teacher. Thanks a lot, Fatima Larisa. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Fatima. Freddy Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Jennifer Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. María Mercedes. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Marvin Vitalicio. Present, Miss. Thank you, Marvin. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, Miss. Thank you very much. Raquel Esther. Raquel Esther. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Sandy Roxana. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Adamaris. <clears throat> Wendy Adamaris. Wendy had problems, I think. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wilfredo Alberto. Here, Miss. Thank you. William Alexander. Thank you, William. Thank you. Selena Yamilet. 
Selena y Amilet. Zulma Natividad. I'm present. Thank you so much, guys. All right, let's continue with the next part. Teacher, no me mencionó a mí. I didn't. Wendy Adamaris. Oh, yes, I said Wendy Adamaris. <laughs> yes, I said Wendy Adamaris. I mentioned you, but you are here. Yes, le costó entrar, ¿verdad? It was difficult. Sí. But you got sí. it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You are here in the list. Thank you. Okay. So we work with this exercise. Now let's go ahead on the next part. The one that you saw on the video. Let's see. Who said in? Selena is present. Thank you so much for telling me, Selena. Okay. Let's move on this part, the one that you saw on the video. And it says, follow the example. We need to have another exercise here. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Questions. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Have you heard about goat cheese? What's goat? Cabra. Cabra. Cabra, okay. I have heard that some people drink the goat milk. Have you already tasted goat milk? Yes. Yes, I have you? Have. Do you like it? Yes. They say it that... Uh, it's kind of a little hot, right? Mm, <laughs> when it's recently, when it's recently taken, they say it's like that. But what about goat cheese? Have you tasted goat cheese? I, don't... I didn't know this existed. I just heard that <laughs> it's goat milk, but goat cheese. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I Have you? Have you tasted yeah. Yes, you have. And what's the flavor? Is it similar than the cow? Or is it different? Mm -hmm. It's different. It's very different. All right. Yes. Let's see the next one. Have you ever tried Korean food? Margarita, have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, yes, I have. Excuse me. Excuse me. Selena Yamilet said person two. Pero, oh, pero thank Selena. you. Thank you so much. Okay, I got it here. Thanks. Yes, I have, teacher. You have? Yes. Okay, Gwen, when did you try Korean food? Well, I tried like two months ago. Two months ago? Ah, very recent. Where? Yeah. Where did you try it? I don't know. My boyfriend just ordered it, and uh -huh. I don't know from where. All we, right, we ate it. We ate it here in the house. Okay. Did you like it? A little bit. Yes. Is it different yeah. than Chinese food? Or yeah, it's Chinese very Chinese different. Food? It's very different. All right. I I like I like Chinese food, but not Korean food. Not Korean. Mm. Oh, you prefer Chinese then? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, thank let's you. see. Freddy. Freddy, are you here sharing with us? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Have you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't brought uh -huh. dictionary today. Okay, thank you. That's good. Let's see another one. Daniela. Daniela Beatriz. Yes. Cool, no. okay. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? No, I haven't. I don't like Harry Potter. You don't like it? Have you watched the movies? No? Um, yes, but I, it's so boring. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of fiction, right? <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay. Now let's ask other questions. You are going to guide from these pictures, well, we have beautiful places here. The ones we have seen these pictures before, right? In another activity. Now, formally more, Gwendy Beatriz. Gwendy Beatriz, yes. yes. All right. You are going to ask a question to Wilfredo. 
take an idea from this picture, the one that you prefer. Remember, you can use different actions, different verbs. Okay. Yes. Have you ever visited the volcano in San Salvador? Uh -huh. San Salvador volcano? Okay. San Salvador volcano? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Thank you. Nice. Wilfredo, now you ask Pablo. Uh, have you have you gone uh, El Tunco Beach? Yeah, that's good. Have you gone to El Tunco Beach? Okay, no, to good haven't. idea. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, you haven't yet? Really? But no. you have gone to other beaches, I imagine. Yeah. Which beaches but have you gone? Go... No, no conocido todavía. You have not, aha, uh -huh, okay, you have not visited yet. Okay, good. So, which beaches have you visited? Or have you none? Mm, San Diego Beach. Ah, that's a beautiful beach, yes. Los Almendros. Uh, eh, where is that? Is it uh, La Libertad, Sonsonate, or where? En Sonsonate. Sonsonate, okay. Any other one? Eh, mm, el Malecón. El Malecón, ajá. Uh -huh. I guess that's true, that's La Libertad, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's yeah. very different because El Malecón, they have a lot of like restaurants, they have a food court. Yes. Eh, so has, uh -huh. En Los Almendros. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo decir que es? Arena Blanca, ¿cómo se diría, Miss? White Sand. It's white sand, really, it's different color. Yeah. It's white sand. Like salinitas. Oh, yes, because salinitas is like that color. Yes, that is true. How it changes the color, right, In, depending on the place that they have. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for sharing. Great. Now, let's see, William, you formulate the question to Betsaida. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't, I didn't put attention. <laughs> didn't pay attention? Question about what? No, Take the idea too. from the pictures and formulate the question with have you ever, and use different verbs. Have you visited? Have you climbed? Have you gone? Have you eaten? <laughs> have you ever gone to, to El Pital? Have you ever gone? To El Pital. To El Pital. All right, thanks. Let's try that. No, I haven't, William. Never? You have never, never. gone? Never? Okay. I like. <laughs> These days it must be really nice because the Friday weather is so cold there. <laughs> but you would like to go there? Would you like to visit El Pital? Yes, I like yes. it. That's good. I what would other... like. <laughs> you would like to go there? Good. Yes. What other places have you visited? Uh, El Tunco. El Tunco Beach. Okay. How many days have you gone? One day, for two days, for three days, for one week? One day. And one day, okay. That's December. <laughs> ah, okay. So you went there last December? Yes. Okay, very good. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Now, Fatima, you're going to ask the question to Jennifer. Jennifer Sarai? Jennifer, are you there? No. Marvin? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Fatima, you ask Barbie. Okay. Uh, sería referente a las imágenes. It can be about the pictures. Yes. Okay. Have you ever um, ¿Cómo se dice? No, pero How do you say how do you say? No. How do you say what? Uh, los chorros. Los chorros. Remember that this one is a proper name. Es un nombre propio. Entonces no lo traducimos. Decimos tal y como es. Y entonces está bien que diga, have you ever visited los chorros last uh -huh. year? Los chorros? What else? Last year. Year. 
remember that if you say last year is because it's simple past. Si no sería oh, como, ¿has visitado los chorros el año pasado? No. Maybe, have you visited los chorros? Well, this one, it will be los chorros de la calera. Have you visited los chorros de la, carre la carrera? This year, I changed the name, guys. Uy, I changed the name already. Okay. Have Marvin, you, have you ever visited um, los chorros de la galera? De la calera. Now, now we'll change it too. It's not de la, la calera. calera. <laughs> ya le cambiamos nombre, right? We changed the names two times. <laughs> All right, no, so I haven't. Okay, very good job. That is nice. Okay. I was, so have, uh -huh. I was so nearly, but I, I don't. Oh, you live near? Really? No, 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 no. I was, I was. Oh. Um, yeah, I was near. In, yes, near. Uh -huh. I was in Huayua. Ah, okay. You were in Huayua. That's true because that, that is very near to that place. Yes. And also, very cold place. Yeah. Where is Definitely. Los Chorros de la Calera? Huayua. I think it's in Huayu, I think. It's on Sonate, yes. right? Yes. It's in yes. Sonsonate. It's a long San distance, Salvador. actually. Well, if we go from San Salvador, right? It's very long distance, yes. Okay, we got that one. Now, I have another one here. In the one we're going to read. So, we begin with the review. This one. Let's read it. Can you begin with Fredo, please? These ones, they are like posts. Like when you write something on, on Instagram or on Facebook, so you post this information about different places that these people have visited. Let's see number one. And Marco wrote. Can you please begin with Fred? I came to this awesome, awesome place three years, oh no, three days? three days ago. These are the Anzi Mountains in Hunan, Hunan? Hunan? Hunan province, China. And the mountains cover 67 square kilometers. Kilometers? Kilometers. Or over uh, 16,000 16, acres. Acres, and they and they are named for a famous farmer who lived in the area. In the area. In the area. In the area. Thank you. Very good. Continue, Pablo. Please. I took. I took a cable car up to the mountains. The ride was about six minutes long. The views are breathtaking. The mountains look almost like they are man-made. Sadly, my trip is almost over and I have to go home, but I want to come back soon. Thank you so much. Good. Okay. New vocabulary. Any questions? Breathtaking. Breathtaking. That means que quitan el aliento. Because they surprise you. It says the views are breathtaking. Las vistas te quitan el aliento. Because you really enjoy it. They are amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other one? It's war teaching. Which one? A square. square. Is this one? A square. Yes. Cuadrado. So that means 77 square kilometers. Kilometros cuadrado. What mean cable car? Cable car. This is a cable car. It's a type of transportation. It's like uh, the one yeah. that was in Gondola. teleférico, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The one it wasn't telephonical, so that will be cable car. Cable, carro, cable. They use a cable. Uh -huh. cable they use a cable car. and they took you. Actually, there are some of the countries that this is a kind of transportation, right? Take advantage of the space. 
Okay, we got another one here. What Leticia says in this third read. Can you continue? Let's see, Daniela. Are you present, Daniela? Yes. All right, begin, please. Guys. Guys, look at this. This in the desert near Hurgada. Hurgada? Hurgada. Hurgada, Egypt. 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 Good. I was just there with my friends, Carla. Desert bread is a piece of piece? land. Is a piece? piece? Is a piece of land art made by three people in the 90s. Nineties. Uh -huh. Nineties. An artist. Mm -hmm. And archi architect. 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 And uh, engineer. Engineer. And Engineer. Engineer. Nice. Uh -huh. It's made of sand and it covers a large area of the Sahara Desert. Sahara? Sahara, Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. And how do you say? 100. 100,000. 100,000 square meters. 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 Or about uh, 25 acres. <laughs> Every year, some of the art disappear. The wind moves the sun away. For now, it's so large. Large? That, it's so large. large. It's so large that satellites, satellites, satellites in space take photos of it. Yeah. How cool is that? How cool is that? Thank you so much. Very good. New vocabulary. Near Urgada. Near. Near Urgada. Well, this one is a place in Egypt. Near it means cerca de. Cerca de Urgada in Egypt. <clears throat> so it's a place. Mm -hmm. Miss, what what is the name of this desert? Desert breathe. Desert breathe. What happened is that this one it says desert breath is a piece. What happened is that it was a creation. No estaba hecho, lo crearon. Um... And that is the name. It's the name that a farmer and other group of people designed in this period of time in the nineties. En los 90 lo crearon. They were just three persons in the 90s, and it was an artist, a, an architect, and an engineer. Uh, it was, it's, it's a creation. Interesting. Yeah, it must be very interesting. Look at the place here. So it must be interesting there. Because it's new, right? It's a creation. It's not like something that already existed, but created by man. Uh, made of sand, made of sand. Made of sand, hecho de arena. So they create that place. Any other one? Pronunciation, Nine is the Nine. Ah, this one? Nairis. Yes, Nairis. Nairis. Nineties, uh -huh, los noventa, that period of time, the nineties, the eighties, the seventies, nineties, nineties, okay. all right. What is the meaning disappear, teacher? Disappear, que desaparecen. Mm -hmm. That's why it says here, eh, every year some of the art disappears. Cada mm -hmm. año algo de, de ese arte desaparece. The wind moves the sun away. Of course, right? El viento mueve, dice, eh, eh, la arena. Mm -hmm. Of course, right? It has to, like, disappear that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see the last part here. This is written by Kelly. Zulma, are you here with us, Zulma? Yes. Yes, all right. Take it, please. I flew. 
I flew from La Paz to Uyuni to, uh -huh. to see this spectacular, spectacular. Play, spectacular place. I took so many pictures. So it many called, pictures. It's called. So many pictures. It's called Salar de Uyuni. Uyuni. And it, it in beautiful Bolivia. It was part of a giant salt. Giant, giant, giant salt lake, lake in prehistoric times. I went there in a group with a with a guide, guide, guide. Mm -hmm. You have to walk a lot, so you need to be in pretty good shape. We worked for a whole day. A whole day. Whole day, like the complete whole day. day. Whole day. Okay. Sometimes you feel like you're walking on clouds. On clouds? Clouds. Uh, when I saw the lake, it looked like it a... Looked, it looked? Looked like a guilt. Giant, like a giant, giant, giant mirror. Uh -huh. I will never forget it. Forget it. That's good. I'll never forget it. Thank you so much, Luna. That's good. New vocabulary. Shape, shape, giant. forma, forma. Giant. It means gigante. Very, very big. Enormous. That's giant. Okay. Any other one? Teacher, how yes. do you say gigante? This one? Gigante. Giant. Yes. This one? Gigante. It's very, very okay. big. Giant. Giant. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. A white group. A way. A Let white. me see which one is it. Group. Uh, Group with a wave. Wave? Wave? Yeah. I took so many. Yeah. Oh, guide. Guide. Group with a guide. Uh huh. Con un guía. Guía turista. Yes. Guide. Teacher, what is the, what yes. is the meaning of shape? Shape. Forma. So it has a form. For example, a ball. The shape of a ball is circular. That's the shape, the form that it has. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Yes. All right. We're going to stop it here, guys. We're going to continue tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the last session, guys. So fast. My God, the time flies. When we continue, this. when we'll continue, we still don't have like the official information. Yes, Andrea, okay. I know. Yes, we need to receive the official information if we are going to continue immediately the next coming Monday. But we need mm. to wait for the information of Insafort. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Have a beautiful night. Sweet dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your night. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Have a great night. Have a great night. Thank you. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow, miss. See you tomorrow. I hope, Andrea, that I can continue with you. Thank you. See you tomorrow, guys, with dreams.